One of the most unique fundraisers you will ever see is reaching new heights this year. The second annual Over the Event Edge event is tomorrow in Uptown Normal, but we have a sneak preview for you right now. Our Mark Welb joins us live from the top of the Marriott Hotel and Conference Center. Hey, Mark, how's it going? It's going great, Rebecca. It is hot, hot, hot up here, but that's all right. Behind me, Dr. Sherry Miller, who is dressed as Ruth Bader Ginsburg, is getting ready to go over the edge. She is a special celebrity repeller, and we want to tell you that um, the people who are going to be repelling here tomorrow earn that right because they raised a lot of money to help two great organizations in our area, and that is the uh, Boys and Girls Club of Bloomington Normal and the Child Protection Network. I've got Samantha Stevenson with me. Come on in, Samantha. Let's talk a little bit about this big event. Tell us about Over the Edge and why people are getting to do this. Um, Over the Edge is a global repel company that approached the Boys and Girls Club and just said, hey, we want to bring this to the community. And we were fortunate enough at the Child Protection Network that they invited us uh, to be a part of this really amazing, thrill-seeking uh, fundraiser. It's fun. It's new. It's exciting. Um, you're not stuck in a, in a room, and you get to do something exciting and go over the edge of the Marriott, and that's where we're standing today. So we feel really grateful that we've been able to raise um, nearly $70,000 this year. This is our our second year of doing it. Um, all the funds that we raise for the Child Protection Network, they go to the Children's Advocacy Center uh, here locally and also to the CASA program, which is the court appointed special advocates. And then, of course, the Boys and Girls Club and all the great work that they do in the community, too. So, how many people are you expecting to go over tomorrow? Um, we had 89 people sign up through uh, various sponsors and individuals. And I think at the end of the day, I think we're going to have like 72 total going over tomorrow. All right, and uh, Dr. Miller is going over right now. Uh, does everyone dress up in costume normally? You know what? Not everyone does, but that was kind of a nice surprise for us on year one. And we're hearing the cheers from down below. That's so fun uh, to see like all the participation and the excitement. And we had we had Elvis go over the building the first year, so it was really great kind of a team building activity for everybody as well too. And so I, I like to see the support that they give through their individual costumes. So instead of Elvis leaving the building, he's gone over the building. Correct. Have yeah. you done this yourself? I did. I did it last year uh, in our, our first time doing it, and so I'm letting uh, another family member go over this year in my place. Any quick tips for me as I do it for the first time? <laughs> uh, you have fun. Really try to sit back and enjoy. Once you go over and you feel the ropes, you'll be, you'll be good. Enjoy the view while you're going down. Samantha, thank you very much. And again, Over the Edge happening tomorrow. Where do people go to find out more info? Um, you can go to any of our Facebook pages. So you can go to the Child Protection Network or you can go to the Boys and Girls Club. You can also check out our website at mcleancpn.org. There's information all over. Come check it out and watch people. There's ground activities. That we'll have Keg Grove here. Um, we'll have food available and kids' activities for everybody. All right, Samantha, thank you. And stay tuned. Coming up at 6 tonight, I'm going over the edge. That should be interesting. We'll send it back to you, Rebecca. All right, Mark, thanks.